This is Winning Cures Everything. Now for your hosts, Gary and Chris. All right, so we've got a new segment. This is the blurbs. So whenever we don't have three major stories, and we may even toss this in even when we do have three major stories, if there's enough stuff to just rapid fire through. we got a lot of small things that aren't really good enough to be their own segment. But Yeah, it's it's not big enough to... Uh, things that are noticeable. Yeah, noticeable. That's, that's a good word for it, right? It's just stuff yeah. that like you just read off and it just is what it is. Uh, first off, the SEC Media Day has opened up Monday, which means it is officially talking season. Biggest news actually broke last Friday. Paul Feinbaum signed his contract with ESPN, so he is at Media Days. Uh, I watched him most of today. Uh, on next week's show, we're going to do our SEC previews. And I've got something about this later on. It's something that came out that was interesting, but we'll, we'll get into that later. So SEC Media Days are ongoing this week. Keep an eye out on the SEC Network. Uh, you will learn nothing new. Nothing new, but a lot it of does. Coach, a lot of coach speak. And the only thing I'm interested in, just a quick blurb on this, okay. are there any new characters that are going to come out? Because we have lost over time, Spurrier. We've lost less. We've lost the, the, the just creme de la creme of talkers in the SEC. I watched Jimbo Fisher hoping that he would take on the Texas persona and I was sadly disappointed. I, I mean, he's, he's a good talker. To, I don't but, know if you're ever going to get the Louisiana boy out of him. He's he's just – I mean, I guess well, I mean, Geron is fine. kind of uh, a, a, an interesting talker. But how much Even of that he is, was boring today. How much of that is just his voice? I mean, Monday's, that's just his dialect. Monday was Orgeron. Uh, he did say something interesting. He said that hiring Matt Canada was a mistake. Like, he, and just flat out said that was a mistake. Hmm. And it's a bigger mistake if you don't fix it as quickly as you realize now, it is. I don't disagree with the second part. I, you know me. I'm very quick to fire. I'm oh, very yeah. quick to fire. As soon but as once, you know a guy's a losing hand, yeah, I'm a poker player. Yeah. You fold the hand. Yeah. You don't waste the money. You don't waste the time yeah. and all that kind of – now, they've wasted money, but well, whatever. Yeah, time, time. Yeah, time. You don't waste we the time. We got money. Uh, let's move on. MLB All-Star Game is Tuesday night. I don't have a lot to say about it. Your thoughts? I, I, lo I love I love the All-Star Game. It is my favorite of all the big sports All-Star Games. It's not even close. Home Run Derby is tonight. We're recording this on Monday. Um, and uh, got a hot take about that a little while later. Um, <laughs> but, no, uh, I'm excited. I have looked at these rosters. Pitching in the NL is really good. I cannot imagine the NL coming close to winning this thing. I know it doesn't matter, but the AL lineup is just un. Did they did they switch this back to where? It's, yeah, it doesn't mean anything. Okay, doesn't, doesn't mean, mean anything. anything. No, 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 doesn't mean anything. See, that's the thing. Like, I, I, for I still think like I still think that play like pitchers are still going to try and get you out. Yep, hitters are still going to try and hit. Correct. Fielders are still going to try and make plays. This is all going to come back to my hot take. Your your philosophy is exactly why I think my hot take is correct. Okay. All right. Next up, yep. Louisville takes the Papa John's name off the stadium. Papa John resigned his post on the Louisville Board of Trustees. And the CEO of Papa John's Pizza. Now, were you surprised that he and the pizza company allowed all this to happen so quickly? So here's, I, I have a little bit of a blip with this that I have just a, just a smidge of an issue. Okay, I, I have no issues with firing him or forcing him to resign, none whatsoever. What he says, appalling. You can't say that today's day and age. For anybody got, that doesn't know, know, he dropped he dropped, uh, an he dropped an in bomb in the middle of a PR meeting. A conference call. Yeah, a like conference call multiple people with, with a like a publicity yeah. agency yeah. that was basically trying to curb racism, <laughs> which is what well, just just you can't do. And, yeah, and so I have no dumb. idea with them disassociate disassociating themselves with him. But teams wanting to like break their sponsorship and people wanting to boycott the company. Well, and, like, and Louisville a, players saying that if the name wasn't off the stadium, that they weren't going to play. I think that's, that's ridiculous. Absurd. And here's the reason why this whole company shouldn't be punished because one guy is a jackass. I agree. Because, I, like, I, I work. It in, doesn't help that he is Papa John and the name of the I, company is Papa but John's. But you can't change, you can't re rebrand the whole company and name you can rebrand the thing taking his image off but you can't change the whole company overnight it's going to take yeah. time but but i'm a guy that that i'm in a small business and i know that most of the pizza places around are not big corporate conglomerates they're yeah. all franchisees right so there are local people in your community right now regardless of what you think of their quality of pizza if you like their pizza then still order their pizza you're yeah. still supporting local people that work there 
and and have jobs and and they aren't anything like this guy. Exactly. That's that's my take on this whole deal. I think we're going a little crazy. Let's punish the person, not the whole group. That I agree. The the name removal was a little crazy considering that they have a contract that's already done up and everything through like 2036. I I just don't understand that. I I think you sit down and you explain to player and you let the like local Louisville franchisees come in and say, "Hey, we we're still here. We're still yeah, a part of your community. <laughs> we're still going to be We're the people that have been supporting you all along. That that guy is a face of a yeah. company, but that's all he is. Yeah, it, you don't we, have to take we, our name off that's of your. Right. We are still a part of of what's going on here in Louisville and at the University of Louisville, the city and the university. So I just want people to just let's just chill for it. Just o- pump the brakes. It's okay and everybody chill to out. get rid of somebody. Yes, I'm just told you I'm quick to fire. But once you fire the man, just let let's let's now move on. Exactly. All right. We'll move on from that. Air Force coach Troy Calhoun will not reveal the name of his new defensive coordinator. At a recent event in Colorado, Coach Calhoun was asked about it. He said, I don't know if if it's necessarily a delay. I've yet to see a law or an edict that says that you have to name them. So Calhoun either hasn't decided who's going to run his defense or he sees no reason to tip his hand to opponents. What, what do you think here? All right, so this goes back to a guy I defend all the time, but Harbaugh like not giving like teams his roster yeah. last year, things like that. Like no one's making you do it. You you just kind of look weird not doing it. Yeah, it's a little strange. It's uh, like he's already got his entire staff. We do hired. live in a world where like embracing the weird has kind of been the thing. But football has been a culture that doesn't embrace the weird. No, this is weird. very conservative people yeah. like do it by the or do it the way it's always been, always done, been done. Or I don't know whatever. that I I'm not going to say I like it, but I also don't know that I dislike it. I just think it. I don't know what it tells me about him as a person. It's it's a little strange. Are you really? Par- I mean, hanging out in Colorado. I mean, you know, he might be smoking the ganja. <laughs> he might be a little, a little paranoid. Little paranoid he might over be the slightly paranoid. Uh, Shady McCoy. Uh, we'll move on to that one. Uh, LaShawn McCoy uh, was uh, allegedly, he was accused of beating up his ex-girlfriend yeah. slash baby mama, whatever. Or, like, he hired somebody to go in and do it. Like, she wouldn't return some of the jewelry that he gave to her when he asked for it back. He hired somebody to go in and pistol whip her or whatever if she didn't give it back. Uh, he denies any wrongdoing. He did hire the best defense attorney in uh, in Atlanta. You look, everybody's so burnt on these things because people make false accusations all the time. Like, Reuben Foster was almost cut from the 49ers because of a domestic abuse issue. And then the girl comes out in court and says, I was just trying to ruin him. He didn't actually do this to me. This happened elsewhere. And then there was, like, proof of it happening elsewhere. So then Reuben Foster gets off clean, and his name was drugged through the mud, front page headlines, and then when he's cleared, it's like, Back page. Yeah, it doesn't make any news. So, if, you, if Shady did this... He doesn't deserve to be in the NFL. He's gone. No, he's, he, he's, yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he'll be he's out. He's gone. Gone, gone, gone. Um, and if he didn't, this is this is pretty ugly. Yeah, this is this bad juju. Yeah. Bad juju. A uh, video came out of a security guard attacking Pac-Man Jones at an airport. Pac-Man turned around and knocked this dude, Clint. Did you... You saw the video, right? I watched the video. TMZ posted it up. The security guard lost the fight. Lost his job and was arrested. Is this the dumbest thing that that guy could have done, especially at work? Yeah, I mean it doesn't. I mean, just picking a fight with somebody is pretty, pretty ballsy at at, at your place of business. Well, picking a fight with somebody that's known to well, be crazy. Well, that's it. I was going to say that's he a just former picked, professional football he player. Picked a fight with a professional athlete. Okay, that's that's a little little more dangerous. Professional athletes that's mentally unstable. But yes. now we're getting into suicidal. Like, do you have a death wish? I mean, I, don't I mean, know obviously you got something going on because I and I, nobody knows what the fight was about. It didn't end well, but you could see from the video that he instigated. He, he started it. it. He started it, and then Pac Man showing up finished it. Man, he oh, he got a nice blow in there. Uh, Fox Sports is talking to Jeff Fisher about uh, becoming a game analyst, most presumed for Thursday night football. Will Fisher be as boring in a booth as he was during interviews and press conferences? 
he'll probably be better in the booth than he was in press conferences. But I, his voice is so monotone, so just he might have personality yeah, you know, that we've just that. never seen. Maybe, and, and I'm okay with that. I don't know why you go after him though. I mean, it's got to be a look thing, right? Like, I mean, he's I a guess. Southern California boy. And, he's, and that's what he's, Fox goes after. He's a still a good-looking man. Like, to be older, he's got all his hair. He's got decent facial hair when he grows it kind of stuff. Like, yeah. is this an appearance thing? Because it can't there, – there's yeah, got to be don't a, see a list of 100 people. Yeah, you will. If he's on Fox. A, a on couple the of game, times. That, but it doesn't matter, man. It doesn't matter. I, I think this is an appearance thing because there are 100 other football guys out there smarter than him, better than him, more articulate than him. Do do you think they just needed a big name? He's not a big name. He's a big enough he's name. Known he's known for recent. going eight and eight, seven and nine. That's what he's, he's known. He's for. got the most. Lo- he's tied for the most losses by a head coach in NFL history with one hundred and sixty five. Because he kept his job so long. It's it's pretty insane. Oh. It's pretty insane. All right, uh, Tim Tebow is dating Miss Universe Demi Lee Nell Peters from South Africa. Now, first off, have you seen this girl? I have not. You haven't seen I her have yet. Hold on, I'm I, I'm gonna pull it up for you. All right. All right. So All right, you, you see, see her. her. I see her now. All right. Now, do you give either of them props for not flaunting their relationship? Because apparently they've been dating for a while and and nobody knew. I I, I respect the fact that they're not doing that. You know, I I don't know that there would ever be a point in my life where I would be okay or happy living in that kind of a public life. I could imagine that. I, re, you know, I refer to my children, but I don't like talk about them a lot. I don't use names. Not that no, no one can not find my kids' names. I'm not like that public of a guy, but like I just don't know that I want that private, like that public of a lie. Well, you don't want people trying to take pictures of you when you go out for if Starbucks. I was, if I right? was real famous, I might see it differently. I mean, I listened to. Uh, Penn Jillette and and Kevin Smith talk on a podcast a while back, and, and you know, they they bring this up about people coming up and asking for pictures and autographs and saying, hey, I'm sorry, I'm not bothering you. And they both say, if if I didn't want you to do it, I wouldn't have I, – I do what I do so you do this. Like, I, yeah. I chose to be in show business so people would come up and ask me. And then Penn always says, and if I don't want you to do it, I can change it in less than 30 hours. Roseanne did. Like, like I could, I could say one crazy thing, and in less than twelve hours, nobody will ask for my autograph anymore. Or, or you just don't go out. Or you don't right? go out. But, but then you're yeah. antisocial, and that did. Yeah, I, I mean, you anyway, you go out when you want people I res- to come out. I respect out and whatever. Tim Tebow and all the things that he has done and the way he has chosen to live his life. Um, you know, I, I don't have any. I want him to be more involved with SEC Network than I do with Major League Baseball. Do you think you finally made it when you date your second Miss Universe? Is that- <laughs> I mean, Tom's two for two with Victoria's Secret supermodels. Yeah, so no, that's true. Miss Universe, is that, is that better than a su- I think it is. It's got to be. I, it's a universe, right? Yeah, Miss Universe is, is on up there. I, I don't tough. know, Olivia Culpa or Culpo or whatever her name is, and then this Demi, uh, they, look... He ain't he ain't dating ugly girls by any means. So, <laughs> We're all right, this. last one. Brett Bielema may never come back to college. I love that. He said the thing I love about football in the uh, in the NFL is you get to go to work at six a.m. and you leave at nine p.m. and it's nothing but football. Nothing but football. It's just purely I, football. This is why I love the NFL more than college. He, he hold this on. Is, he said this is it. he then said it's a whole different way to coach. I understand once they go to that level, coaches don't ever go back. Yep. Your thoughts? I, I think he's exactly right, and I think the only time they don't go back is when they can't do it there. I just believe that to be true. Let me do a, a quick fact or fiction. Okay. Do you think that Bielema never coaches in college again? I think he never coaches in college again. So I think, fact. I think he is trying to get the offensive coordinator job when Belichick leaves and Josh moves into the head coaching job. I could see that. Let me tell you what I also think, being the resident Patriot fan here. Okay. <laughs> Let me tell you what I also think. Okay. I'm very critical of the Patriots having zero wide receivers on on staff and nine running backs. I think 
Brett Bielema makes a lot of sense as to why we have nine running backs. And you remember Probably. how Bill reinvented football when he said everybody's going after these little small wide receivers or big wide receivers, and I'm just going to have two tight ends, and I'm going to run a two tight end set and change the game? Yeah. Okay. I think he's going to change the game because I think he's going to run out there with four uh, four running backs. I that think would be I think insane. we're going to run sets with four running backs. I think that's going to happen, and I think he's going to change. I don't know if it's going to be successful, but it's going to change the way football works for a little while. That could be interesting. Bill never does the same thing too long, ever. Now you're right about ever. that. And he, he might think that he's gone a little too long with the uh... – The little wide receivers and the big tight end. Yeah. yeah. So let's let's change it up. Because right now we've got Edelman, we've got Gronk Dorset as a wide receiver that we traded for is useless. We've got Malcolm Mitchell that has never played three games in a row. And I can't name another wide receiver on the roster. That's pretty insane. Yeah. I mean it's it's crazy. You can run whatever and then kind of sets and then you want. And then we've got Gronk and nine running backs. <laughs> I would say this in fantasy football. Don't draft any of those running backs. No, I wouldn't. It, it'll Belichick be it'll be Alabama. Your guts. Right? He hates your guts. Where where you at Alabama? He, it's like running back by committee. Yeah. You got four or five guys that are going to touch the well, field. Alabama, all you've time. got three all the time. This this is a whole different game, man. Yeah, this is it, what y'all got going on is nuts. So right, I'm pretty excited that Bill, uh, Bielman's our our running back guy. If we're going to have a lot of running backs. He's my guy, well, and he doesn't have. A, an official title yet? No, he's but he just, will. No, he will. He will. <laughs> All right, we're going to move to another new segment. 